Yes. This is common human diseases part two. That is uh, extension of the first session. This one is about malaria. So causative agent, there are three causative agents. Plasmodium is the parasite involved, which is a protozoan. So plasmodium, three species, that is vivax, vivax, malaria and falciparum. So plasmodium vivax, plasmodium malaria and plasmodium falciparum causes malaria. Among these plasmodium falciparum causes malig malignant malaria. Now coming to mode of transmission. As I do uh, okay this is vector borne disease carried by so mode of transmission vector borne both both female anopheles mosquito and human beings act as vector what does the word vector means that is carrier carrier of the disease causing agent that is plasmodium so both anaphylis mosquito and human beings carry plasmodium these three species now coming to um, symptoms high fever and chills are repeated for three to four days now coming to life cycle of plasmodium vivax as we studied that plasmodium vivax or plasmodium have two vectors one is human beings another is anaphylis mosquito so when uh, an when a sporozoid sporozoid carrying anaphylis that is infected infected mosquito bites human being beings the protozoan protozoa comes into human beings they these pathogens first replicate in liver cells then they attack RBCs that is red blood cells they release hemozoin that is a protein which causes rupture of RBCs and this results in uh, repetitive or subsequent fevers and chills sporozoids fourth point sporozoids enter into asexual stage and acts uh, and gametocytes are produced or synthesized next point when a female anaphylis mosquito
bites an infected person gametocytes enter into them those mosquitoes gametocytes undergo fertilization and again enter into the sexual reproduction uh, stage and produce form sporozoites like when then again first point when a sporozoite scanning anopheles mosquito bites human being um the protozoa comes into human beings human beings can get affected like this mm, life cycle of plasmodium uh, vivax like this the cycle goes on now amebiasis again this is one protozoan disease causative agent is entamoeba histolytica it is also called amoebic dysentery so entamoeba histolytica is the causative agent then coming to mode of transmission amebiasis is again a food borne disease it is basically carried by water as well as food now coming to the symptoms house flies actually act as uh, mechanical carriers you can say and coming to the symptoms constipation abdominal pain cramps stool with excess mucus and blood clot so these are the symptoms constipation abdominal cramp stools with excess mucus and sometimes blood now mode of transmission how do flies acts as vector they carry they carry the um, infected stool uh, from uh, one uh, per, and they infect food how do flies act as vector to infect food and water now next one that is ascariasis causative agent is one common worm that is ascaris ascaris now mode of transmission it is carry basically fecal borne disease uh, which uh, the fecus contaminate water soil and plants and uh, so we can say it is mode of transmission is water as well as water and food borne now coming to the symptoms what are the symptoms of ascariasis as you can see internal bleeding muscular pain fever anemia and blockage of intestinal passage i repeat internal bleeding muscular pain fever anemia and blockage of intestinal passage now coming to elephantiasis or filariasis So what is the causative agent it's wucheria that is another type of worm that's flat worm and wucheria mallei the spelling you must know m a l a y i and bancrofti so wucheria 
the species are bancrofti and malai they are the causative agent elephantiasis is also called filariasis and it is contaminated or spread by mosquito female mosquito vectors so mode of transmission female mosquito vector now symptoms the lymph vessels in the lower body part in the lower bo body part chronic inflammation develops so uh, chronic inflammation in the lower lymphatic vessels of lower limbs that's the symptom so you won't be able to see any symptom for a long time chronic inflammation inflammation means mm, red red reddening sorry reddening swelling fever etc are symptoms of inflammation so chronic inflammation of lymphatic vessels of lower limbs so i repeat inflammation uh, symptoms of inflammation is red pain reddening swelling and a fever now coming to ringworm causative agents are three genus microsporum trichoderma and sorry uh, microsporum trichophyton and epidermophyton these three so microsporum sorry just a moment microsporum epidermophyton epidermophyton and trichophyton now coming to mode of transmission obviously uh, okay it is a soil borne disease soil borne disease and also spread from towels clothes and etc of infected person now symptoms scaly lesions formation of scaly lesions in different parts of body with severe itching itching means feeling like touching and scratching okay as you can see this is example uh, uh, diagram showing this one is the diagram showing um ring worms okay now it basically occurs in skin nails and scalp and this is the image showing filariasis so lower lymphatic vessels in the lower limbs um chronic inflammation as i told pain reddening swelling which leads to fever as well now coming to the next part that is prevention and control how to prevent diseases in case of airborne diseases the only prevention is to stay out of touch or uh, to maintain distance from um, the um, infected individual that is in case of uh, airborne disease in case of water and food borne diseases the in it's particular uh, the prevention and control is required 
so properly clean water must be used for drinking either nowadays uh, water purifiers are available that can be used now also like malaria uh, and filariasis Con uh, for malaria and filariasis to control or eliminate uh, the vector's breeding places and also uh, avoiding uh, stagnation of water in and around residential areas, regular cleaning of household coolers, use of mosquito nets and introducing f fishes like gambusia in ponds that feed on mosquito larvae. Also spraying insecticides help. Then doors and windows must be provided with wire mesh to prevent entry of mosquito. Now so these are the methods or uh, control prevention and control measures to protect us uh, from mosquitoes.